Hello, today I'm going to be talking about two things I enjoy, math and Pokemon. Now at first glance, there isn't much math to Pokemon, spare knowing how much health your Pokemon has, or how much damage your Hyper Beam is doing to that poor Baidu. And in all honesty, was that really necessary? But in reality, the inner mechanics of Pokemon have some intense mathematical equations. In this video, I'm going to try and teach you how to catch a Pokemon. So the basic concept of catching a Pokemon is simple. First you weaken it, then you throw a Pokeball, and hopefully it works. If all goes well, you could be the proud new owner of a bag of trash. Or a vanilla ice cream cone. Or this weird bunny cactus thing. Yeah. But finding the probabilities of successfully catching these Pokemon is actually quite complex. First of all, every Pokemon has a catch rate, which is a certain number from 1 to 255. The larger the number, the higher the chance that you're going to catch this Pokemon. Most legendaries have a catch rate of around 3, while most Pidgeys and Bidoofs and lovely other simple Pokemon have a catch rate of 255, which basically makes it almost impossible not to catch it. Now here's the point where I break out the massive mathematical equation and you all cheer. The ball bonus is a specific bonus depending on the ball you throw. Ultra balls will multiply A by 2, whereas dusk balls used in a cave or at nighttime will multiply A by 3.5. And of course we all know master balls are perfect, so they actually multiply A by 255, making a 100% chance of success. The status bonus is a bonus gained from the status of the target Pokemon you're trying to catch. If you put it to sleep, A gets multiplied by 2, and if it's paralyzed, A gets multiplied by 1.5. Um, but Evan, what the frick is A? I'm glad you asked that. A is just a number that's inputted into an even larger equation. Here's where it gets interesting. B is the probability that a Pokemon does not break out of its Pokeball during a given trial. Now I'm not going to go crazy into this formula because I was trying to focus on more of the easier concepts to understand, but basically what you need to know is that before each shake of the Pokeball, a number between 1 and 65,535 is chosen. If the number chosen is less than B, then it goes on to the next number. After four consecutive numbers fail to be greater than B, then success! You've just caught a Pokemon. Easy stuff, huh? Now to make this a little easy on ourselves, we can actually just do a little bit of rounding and assume that if the Pokemon you're trying to catch only has one health left, then we're only going to take account of the catch rate, ball bonus, and status bonus of the Pokemon and divide the multiplied number by 255 to find the probability that you will catch this Pokemon. So if you're trying to catch a legendary Pokemon and he's down to one health, you paralyze him, and you throw a dust ball at him at nighttime or in a cave, then the probability of catching him is approximately 3 times 3.5 times 1.5 divided by 255, which comes out to be about 6.2%. Now, taking from what I've learned in my probability and random variables course, the average number of dust balls you'll need to throw is 1 divided by the probability, which ends up being 16 to 17 dust balls. That's a lot of dust balls. If you threw ultra balls instead of dust balls, the probability of catching this legendary Pokemon is actually only about 3.5%, meaning that the average number of ultra balls you'll have to throw is about 28. Oh my god! You better take out a Pokemon for that. So there you go. Now, get out there and... Catch them all. Or just trade via the Wi Fi connection with Japanese people who have game sharks. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you like math and or myself, my math t shirt will be shipping out in approximately three days on April 8th. Oh my god, look at it! If you haven't gotten it yet and you want it, then I would suggest purchasing it within the next three days so that way you can get it shipped as soon as possible. Otherwise, thanks a bunch. I'll be seeing you guys later. See ya! Nave Regnide. Hey look, I'm a Psyduck.